My dear brothers and sisters, we continue our reflection with Jesus encountering the scribes and the Pharisees. And in this gospel, we have heard once again about the Sabbath, which in the understanding of the Pharisees, in order for the Sabbath to be observed, they have many rules, mostly of don'ts, meaning limitations. Do not do this because it will make you disobey the Sabbath law. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us go back first to the original meaning of the Sabbath. The commandment to observe the Sabbath and make it holy is found in two versions. The first one commands the observation of the Sabbath in remembrance of God's creation. God created everything and on the seventh day, He rested. That's the first meaning. The second is related to the observation of the Sabbath as remembrance of how God freed the people of Israel from Egypt. And so, in these two versions or two reasons of the observance of the Sabbath, the common reason is freedom. First, freedom from work. Kuminsan po, palagi na lang tayong work, 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 work. Trabaho, trabaho. Hanggang kailan ba matatapos ang trabaho? And so, it is part of the observation of the Sabbath to remind us the importance of rest and especially resting in God's love. In the same way, our other concerns can also become a burden. Para tayong nakakulong dahil sa ating mga iniisip, mga pangamba, mga takot. And so, the Sabbath was given for the sake of man. But in the understanding of the Pharisees, they were mindful only of not doing work on the Sabbath, and so they listed out the things that would constitute work. At napakadami, no? puros mga pagbabawal. And because of this, they were more focused on the words, forgetting about the spirit or the content of the law of the Sabbath. And so when Jesus responds to them by saying, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath, He is telling not only the Pharisees, not only the disciples, but also each one of us, that He is the Lord of Freedom. At isang magandang implication po nito is our celebration of the Holy Mass. Because at times, we look at the Holy Mass as a kind of an obligation. Kailangan kong gawin. Pilitin ko. Obligado ako. And so we pray for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enlighten us that more than an obligation, the Holy Mass is an opportunity for us to experience God's love. It is not so much of an obligation. It is an opportunity for us to exercise our freedom to live freely 
to love freely. Kaya nakakalungkot po na sa isang linggo, many people find it difficult to give time to celebrate, participate in the Holy Mass. Walang time, busy, madaming ginagawa. In that way, we are not able to celebrate the Sabbath. We are not able to love. And in connection to our first reading, it is important to look at the Holy Mass and our relationship with Jesus in this way so that the love of God will fill our hearts. At ano ang sinasabi ni Apostol San Pablo sa ating unang pagbasa? No matter what happens outside me, persecutions, rejections, I know in my heart that God loves me. And I will offer my time, my life for Him. We continue to pray for the grace of the Holy Spirit to continue inspiring and touching our hearts to be truly be free in loving God and our neighbor. Amen.